Hey guys, it's Moonsault Stables here. I know I am literally the worst model horse YouTuber, but I decided it was about time to give you guys a collection tour for the first time in, oh, about four years. I think it's been since 2016 was the last time I gave you guys a collection tour. So let's go ahead and get this going. My collection has changed so much <laughs> in that past four years. So it's time. Granted, I don't have all of my horses here in my apartment. I do still have about two dozen horses living at my parents' house. However, since we are all in self-isolation right now due to the current world situation, I can't go over there to get those horses. So the only ones over there, there's a few uh, Zodiac horses and a couple like just regular runs. I don't think I have any actual special runs over at their house, but let's go ahead and get this started. And I will start at the very tip top of this shelving unit with my decorators. I have my two saddle breads. I have the wood grain and a diamond jubilee. And then I have my blue Christmas candy from this past December. I have my illumination. I have a Liberty, I think is that silver. And I think this one's Patriot. And then Allegiance is the little guy right there. I don't really name my decorators, but I'll try to say any of my names of any of my other horses. I am terrible and I don't have names for all of them, but I will do my best to remember their names. <laughs> So we've got, let's start here, we have Hidalgo, we've got Goffert, Double Take, can't remember this one's name, <laughs> Death by Chocolate, we have Seattle Symphony, Eeyore, no name on that guy, uh, Perfect Storm, I, obviously I don't have any names for my unpainted micros. Uh, Bad Reputation, Vulcan Logic. We'll go down here to this one is Tigger. We've got Ears to You. This is the other one I can't remember the name of. I have a lot of primed micros as well. Uh, Arlington. We've got uh, Guns N' Roses. Yes, I can. Ole Miss. On Tap and perfectly paradoxical. Oh, also, you guys have never seen this little one. I sculpted a teeny tiny little sauropod. Oh no, my camera's not focusing on him. That's fine. There we go. I sculpted a teeny dinosaur last year. Anyways, <laughs> um, I don't have a name for either of these two. This one is Metasoro, Blasphemous Rumors, Uncalled For, we have uh, Dear Theodosia, Borth Sampson, Dance Dreams, uh, Hurts Like Heaven, and Nervous Waters. And then also on this shelf we have a couple little just in progress micros. Obviously they are nowhere near being done, but <laughs> eventually I'll finish them. But down to next shelf, we have uh, Raindrops on Roses, Creme Brulee, Chabasco. Oh, why can't I remember your name? You are Distorted Reality, Grace Lightning, Cowboy Philosophy, uh, Way to the Dawn, Coping Without Coffee, Sugar and Spice. And then down here, just a whole lot of stable mates. <laughs> Lots of stable mates. Most of them are OF. I do have a couple customs in here. These three customs on the end here are mine. And then the others are by other artists. So there's all of those. I'm not gonna go through each one individually 
because there's a lot and I don't name a lot of my stable mates because a lot of them never get the chance to show. And then I do also have a ton of stable mates over here as well. So I'll go through. Just kind of let you see those. I've got a couple of like the spirit writing free ones. Lots of unicorns. I love my two chase magnolias. Lots of the little ponies and drafts and just a whole lot of little stable mates. And then at the very bottom, there's just a couple little Schleich ones. I keep those at the bottom, so just in case my cat decides she wants to go in the shelf. Because <laughs> this shelf does not have any kind of door on it. This is an amazing shelf for stable mates, though. I would highly recommend it. It is a CD shelf from Ikea. And now we are on to the second bookshelf I have. And again, we'll start at the very top, we've got that Christmas cat. We have the Walmart unicorn and the Scorpio and Gemini Zodiac horses. Again, the other Zodiac horses do live at my parents' house right now, but I do have the full set. I have some of the wildlife, which I adore. And then this is kind of like a, a trail of painted ponies, like knockoff, I think. I don't think it's the actual brand, but I love it. It's sparkly and amazing. And then on to this shelf. This is my uh, Premier Club models and my web specials. So we've got on this end here, that's my unti unpainted Tiny. Eventually I'll get him painted. I've had him for a long time, but I haven't been brave enough to paint him yet. Uh, we've got Ra's al Ghul. Ah, I can't remember her name. Safety Dance. This is me now. Charm Bomb. Uh, the mayor is Mountain Sound. And Sage Geronimo. My little Charleston doesn't have a name. Uh, that one is You'll Be Back. And then we've got Oatmeal Stout. Uh, Kimbia doesn't have a Another name, just Kimbia. <laughs> uh, my Zion and Moab are uh, Cinewaba Sunset and Cocapelli Dreams. And then now on to my lovely Roxy Conga that I have, I think, 14 in now. So I'm super excited about that. I'm only missing two horses in my Roxy Conga. That doesn't include like unobtainables or glossy variations or anything like that. But anyways, we have, uh, if I was a rich girl, Cody doesn't have a show name yet. Uh, True Grit, 24 Karat Fool, Crimson Promise, Southern Comfort. My braided Diana doesn't have a name yet. Uh, the Final Pam focus camera, the final Pam, Midnight City, the Black Pearl, then down to the other four Roxies. I have, come on camera, I have Drift Compatible, uh, Bohemian Rhapsody, Luck of the Draw, and Accidentally in Love. A couple more little micros, two of the Chase pieces and the Micro Minis. And again, more micros up here. Here's my two little micro knots that I unboxed last video. And then we have just a few classics here. I don't have a ton of classics, but I do really like a lot of the newer molds. Camera, why are you struggling right now? And then over here, we have some of my painted micros. We have, this one is Night Visions, Sleepy Hollow, uh, Walking on Sunshine, Oakley and Playful Banter. What is this one's name? I can't remember the name of this one. <laughs> uh, All Dolled Up and Sudden Success. 
This is missing five of my painted micros. They were recently sent off to proxy at a live show. They did really well at the show, but right after the show was when everyone was kind of put into quarantine. So haven't had a chance to meet up with the proxy shower yet to get my ponies back. So <laughs> they are living with her right now until the world calms down a little bit. <laughs> But now we'll go down here to my foals and all of my unpainted and unprepped micros. <laughs> all of the other micros that you saw, they were either painted or they are fully prepped and just waiting for primer or waiting for paint. But these guys have not had any prep work done to them. Remember how I said I was obsessed with micros in my last video? Yeah, th this, this, is, this is my micro obsession. I have been a part of Maggie Bennett's micro or monthly micro club s since basically its inception. I think I joined about three months into the club. So I'm just missing the first like three or four releases. <laughs> but other than that, I have had every single one, I have a problem and that's okay. <laughs> but anyways, onto my foals. I have a Pluto Sardinia, Merrimack, Lego My Ego, Red Rum, Dreamcatcher, e camera. Ah, uh, what are you, what's your name? Twilight Woods, Cashmere Glow. This one doesn't have a name yet. Caravel, uh, Marigold. I am the worst. I forgot all of my horse's names. She's a Happy Camper, Goo Goo Doll, and Prairie Dawn. And then down here, these are just kind of miscellaneous horses. Most of them are for sale, including these customs that I painted a couple months ago. So hey, if anyone wants any stable mate customs by me, I have these guys for sale. You can message me on Instagram if you are interested at all. I don't do any sales on YouTube, so please don't contact me here if you want those ponies. <laughs> please just message me on Instagram. I won't respond to sales inquiries here, but yeah. I also have a couple just miscellaneous horses throughout my apartment. So this is my prism. I'm hoping to add a crystalline to the collection soon if she comes back on sale on Briar's website. And then I also have this little in progress custom. I'm almost done with her and she will be for sale as well, just so y'all know. And finally, it is nearly impossible to see this because the lighting in my bedroom is awful, but I have all of my Christmas horses from 2006 all the way up to 2019 in my closet. And I also have the Halloween horses in my closet as well. I don't have as many of those, obviously. And again, they are very hard to see. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching my updated collection tour for April of 2020. Let me know down in the comments below, did you have a favorite horse that you saw in my current collection? If so, I would love to know. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more model horse goodies. Thank you so much, you guys, and stay safe.